What's going on y'all? This video is all about if you're having trouble finding some of those, how you can make some with some of these. Check it out. Alright, so back in 2022, there was a Hobie Bass Open Series tournament on the Susquehanna River. Nola Miner won that one, throwing one of those guys in a certain color. Um, I'm a fool me once, shame on you type guy, fool me twice, shame on me. So I was going to make sure, Hobie stopping on the New River this year in 2023, that I was going to have me one of those. Unfortunately, I waited around too long. And the only color I could get in time was cotton candy, which I'm sure would have worked. But I wanted to go with something more natural anyway, since the whole point of the bait is to be subtle and kind of really mimic well something natural. So I started coming up with ideas and realized, why don't I try to make my own? Uh, I knew I needed some type of floating plastic, so I went with you know, Elastec, my Z-Man, and looking at some of their plastic baits, um, it became pretty obvious a TRD Bug Z would work pretty well. So I'm going to show you how to modify it and make it look pretty much like the Evergreen Gizmo. Alright, so Evergreen Gizmo, little TRD Bug Z. So obviously, first step is to cut off these front pinchers. So taking your razor blade, cut them nice and flush with the body. Second step is to get you some sil silicone skirt material and kind of count the different body segments so you can put it evenly where you want it. So about five segments up, you want to insert silicone skirts into it. And then about five from the top or the head of the body, you want to put another set of silicone skirts in there. Um, you can pretty much thread those through using needle and a thread, a suture kit or whatever you have. It's good to start with nice long pairs of silicone skirt legs. Um, whenever you buy these from different companies, you also get a nice piece of silicone kind of base plate that makes it really easy to tie off the needle and thread or whatever you have to be able to, to be able to insert it into the baits. So basically, once you've done that and you cut off the flippers, inserted your silicone skirt legs, and cut them to the lengths you have. Evergreen Gizmo again, and then your nice new custom little TRD Bug Z that looks pretty much identical to it. Um, you actually get a little bit more action out of those little flapper droppers right there, and you can really create any color combination you want based on you know the standard TRD Bug Z colors and skirt material. I mean, any combination you want out there. Um, I did try some of these on a new river and I got a lot of bites pre-fishing even caught some 15 16 inch fish but Tournament day both tournament days. I ended up not even really throwing the bait, but all in all it's a pretty good little lure um, Pretty much take your favorite style light wire uh, J hook it doesn't have to be a 90 degree bend. I just have this one like that but insert that J hook uh, Preferably use one with a good at keeping the last take on there, and it'll catch you some fish. So if you're having trouble finding Evergreen Gizmo, make your own and have fun. See y'all next time. 